The bandsaw is used for making precision cuts in a variety of sheet materials including wood, plastic, and aluminum. Let's review the lesson objectives. By the end of this video, students will be able to identify parts of the vertical bandsaw, identify the type of blade installed, adjust the blade guard, use different strategies to make various types of cuts. Let's label a few major parts of the saw. Access doors, drive wheel, upper wheel, blade guard, table, fence, and blade. The blade moves in a continuous loop and is driven by large wheels inside the machine. Bandsaw blades come with various numbers of teeth. This is a coarse blade with four teeth for each inch of length. That is, the blade has four teeth per inch, or four TPI. Blades with a higher TPI, or more teeth per inch, are used for cutting thinner materials, where blades with a lower TPI, or fewer teeth per inch, are used for cutting thicker materials. Before starting our cut, we must position the blade guard. Loosen the knob on the back of the machine and lower the blade guard to approximately one-eighth of an inch above the material. To make straight cuts, the operator may wish to use the machine's sliding fence. To adjust the fence, loosen the thumb screw and lift the clamp lever. Slide the fence until the cut line aligns with the blade. Lock the clamp lever and tighten the thumb screw. We're now ready to begin the cut. When using the bandsaw, the operator should make sure that his hands are never in a direct path with the blade. The zone directly in front of the blade should be kept clear at all times. The bandsaw easily cuts through dense birch plywood and will not stop for your finger. Push the workpiece into the blade with a steady, consistent pressure, keeping the workpiece against the fence to ensure the blade follows the cut line. Near the end of the cut, ease pressure on the workpiece to prevent the blade from tearing through. This saw features a foot brake to bring the blade to a stop after turning off the saw. When making long cuts that do not extend to the opposite edge, back out the material straight without twisting the blade. When cutting interior notches, material must be removed to provide clearance for the blade to reach the back of the notch. Here, we use a V-cutting strategy to remove the material in small pieces without twisting the blade. Bandsaws typically cannot make radius cuts unless they have a very narrow blade installed. Let's start with the tangent cut technique. This technique uses a series of straight cuts, each approaching the radius line.
by continuing the technique around the curve, the radius can be closely approximated, allowing a sander to finish the part. The relief method involves making cuts from the outside of the material approximately perpendicular to the radius line. As the blade cuts the radius, the relief pieces fall away to provide clearance. The relief cut method can also be used for interior curves, however extra caution must be used to avoid pinching the blade. When making a cut, about how close should the guard be to the top of the material? A. 1 8 inch B. 1 half inch C. 1 inch D. Resting on the material The correct answer is A. 1 8 inch. The blade guard should be positioned approximately 1 8 inch above the top of the material. This prevents the operator's hands from accidentally contacting the blade while allowing the stock to slide underneath the guard. With practice, the bandsaw can be used to make all sorts of creative projects. Just remember to keep the blade guard properly adjusted and your hands well away from the blade. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.